we think that you know in healthcare, we're very reluctant to look outside of ourselves. We think we have all the answers. That healthcare is such a unique and special endeavor, and indeed it is. But as we've learned from the music paradigm, uh, we have lots of lessons to learn from uh, those outside of healthcare. I want to create a safe, enjoyable environment because for the resistant people, that's the environment that's going to make them most open to looking at themselves anew. It's very difficult to blame somebody else for the sound that's coming out of your own instrument when you're the only one in the room. <laughs> and so we became incredible problem solvers with our hands. Um, and uh, we also are a very accurate organization. We don't really, we're not satisfied with 98% accuracy. We really want 100% accuracy. One of the things that we've uh, been talking about for some time is uh, the concept of eliminating uh, uh, medical injuries from errors and mistakes. The obvious relevance to what we try to do in our complex system of healthcare was, I think, extraordinary. You're seeing um, your organization in the orchestra. I think everyone sat there and said, this is a wonderful framework to think about what we do. But because it isn't your workplace, it allows you to discuss those things you know to be issues in your workplace um, in a non-threatening manner. I use the orchestra to show the difference between what's just sort of adequate professional playing and really inspired visionary playing. And people can feel that. And they transfer that to themselves. They say, well, what could it be like if we collectively could do something really great? Every person in the organization has to be involved and feel like they have a role in ensuring the safety of patients. The music paradigm gave that clear, clear message about how every member of the organization is absolutely critical for that. You can have the greatest soloist in the world, but if they're not playing the same notes at the same time off the same sheet of music, uh, it's not a very harmonious result. And I think that's a, that's, that resonated with all of us. That's a, that's a lot of the issue that we face, is we've got a culture of, uh, of soloists uh, in an environment that requires a, a coordinated uh, team effort. There were so many moments in, in the Music Paradigms presentation where I was looking around and I saw people shaking their heads, completely relating. I saw CEOs shaking their heads when he was talking about leadership. I saw people who were um, clinicians and practitioners shaking their heads when he was, you know, focusing in on the team and, and how to play together when Roger um, uh, conducted in particular ways to show uh, somewhat dysfunctional leadership. when he was conducting in a different manner and basically directing them more. And you could see, not only was he being more directive, but he also, his passion wasn't the same. And then he spoke to the musicians and the musicians said, well, you know, we had nothing to do. And so what's it like working with this conductor? <laughs> Well, it, it, it uh, defeats the purpose of me actually being trained or any of us to be trained as to what we're doing because we no longer have any responsibility for our actions because you've taken it over. I can de we can detach. We can detach from what's going on because you have taken over the responsibility of everything. It's uh, like a control issue. <laughs> yeah. It's very profound what you're saying now. Our skills have become negated by, uh, by your control over every, every aspect of the piece. Leaders have to understand that they can't go around telling people what to do. They have to inspire people. They have to have vision. They have to show direction. All the things that a conductor has to do. I never would have made that connection before. I never saw it before. Uh, and it just was just so magical to watch the way the conductor was able to pull that together. But for me, I took away things like leaders don't, should not necessarily be doers, but enablers. Uh, that micromanaging uh, is, uh, actually sends the signal uh, that you don't trust. Everyone I have seen since the session this morning 
everyone has stopped and said that was the most amazing experience I've ever had at a meeting. I mean, it was truly, people were moved because they were relating to what he was saying and it was bringing them back to why they went into healthcare. And then this morning was just on a level that I just I couldn't imagine you could reach. Just uh, the, the whole experience, I could just feel just permeating my, my body. It, it was just amazing. I went out of the meeting this morning. I had a phone call with some issues at work I needed to take care of. And the first thing I did was to pause and say, do not micromanage. Respect your teammates. Understand they have great ability. I want to affirm them, which is exactly what I did. So did it affect me? immediately. It's an incredible program. It's incredible. I just don't know how we can ever do anything other than this now. <laughs>